Can't you hear me calling? Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Help me no sobre de ella. Up, up, up. Hey. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they produce your future. You're called. Mm -hmm. You can't run from it. You can't deny it. You can't pass it off. It's your call. God knew what he was doing. He knew who he was calling. And he... Stay down, came up, God made a way. Most people that they came off the street and they got their career together, they won't ever let you know that they've been through it. They try to act brand new. It's a testimony. What you go through, what you go through. It's for us to inspire somebody. Did Muhammad Ali say, I am not the greatest? He said, I am the greatest. You claim your greatness and your own genius. The day I became a star was when I realized everybody. Father God, I ask for every person that is misunderstood to be comforted. Lord, touch everyone that has lost a loved one. God, strengthen those that are battling something with no one to share it with. God, restore those who are grieving. Lord, enrich those who are with smiles that feel that they have no safe space to go in the physical. Please direct them to caring people of love. All of the graduates be empowered. Let provision be manifested upon everyone. May there be peace and joy in the hearts of the people. I ask for a breaker's anointing to uplift every saddened, broken heart individual. I petition you, Lord. I make a request for you to shower down endurance and peace that will saturate minds and hearts of the people. The untold battles, please, Lord, refresh and rejuvenate. May the soaring, the soaring like that of an eagle, eagle be upon all of us. May we ever, ever continue to sound the clarion call for justice because love is justice and justice is love. In Yahweh's name, I pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's time to claim that greatness that is on the inside of you. God has fearfully and wonderfully made us in the image and likeness of him. So why will we not magnify and talk about the greatness that God has created? He has fearfully and wonderfully made us in the image and likeness of him. That's something really marvelous to righteously brag about. Giving a proper reckoning it brings to the surface that you 
and I were made for this. Made for what? Made to conquer in the earth. Made to be a champion. Made to be a victorian. Made to breathe life into the earth. Made to speak to the principalities. Made to bind, to loose these foul spirits in the air. You were made for this. You were made to breathe life. You were made. You were made to tap in to utilize that gift. You were made for that talent. You were made that that uniqueness, that gift that is on the inside of you. You know, when individuals talk about, they say, you're so zealous, you're so passionate. Yes, I'm zealous and I'm passionate because I was made for this. God gave me the anointing. And with that anointing, I will magnify him. I will utilize. I will tap in. I will be the greatness. I will be, I will display the manifestation of that gift. I will lift that gift up. I will bring hope. I will bring healing. I will I will use that greatness that's on the inside of me. No, I cannot I cannot sit here and allow that greatness that he has put on the inside of me to lay dormant. He created me to be a nurturer, so I'm going to be a nurturer. He created me to be hospitable, so I'm going to be hospitable. He created me with a meekness, so I'm going to be meekful. He created me to care. He created me to love, so therefore, I am made for this. I know what you might think. I know people may be looking at you and they may be saying, how long is it going to be? How long is it going to be that you are going to keep bragging about this that you're so on fire for, that you're so zealous for, that you're so passionate about. You were made for this. It may seem that you are faced with adversity. You may have your back against the wall. You may have a spiritual attack, but you have to know that you were made for this. You were chosen, and you were chosen. You were set aside for a time such as this. You were made to be great. made to speak life and not death. You may say, well, if I was made for this, why do I have to experience so much opposition?
that have to be pulled out of you to cultivate what has been hidden. Sometimes things have been hidden because we haven't activated. But when you tap into the spirit of God, when you tap in and realize that you were made that God has molded you and he has shaped you, that he has put you into the palm of his hand. God has created you to utilize, to move, upon scorpions to go to places that are dark. Joseph was ousted. He was shunned. He was hated. It wasn't that he himself was hated. What it really was, the anointing that rested upon Joseph, that anointing made those that were around him feel some type of way. It was the anointing that was on Joseph's life. It was the anointing. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, you and I must recognize that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against principalities, rulers of darkness in high places. And so sometimes when those attacks come, they're not coming against us, but they're coming against the anointing that rests upon us. Because it was the anointing that was on Joseph's life. It was the anointing. You and I, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, saints, we must not forget that we have the anointing that rests upon us. And the anointing that rests upon us is the anointing that's going to push us into the next round. It's the anointing that is the yoke barrier breaker. It's the anointing that empowers us. It's the anointing. It's the anointing that keeps us the anointing, we must understand the magnificent power of the precious Holy Ghost, the precious Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what empowers us. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the relationship with God that gives us the power. And we must, we must tap in to God's precious Spirit. You see, Joseph, Joseph did not allow the ostracization to get him out of his element. Even while he was thrown into a pit, he left the testimony of still diligently seeking God. He left the testimony of still cultivating that gift, that gift of discernment, that gift to be able to interpret dreams. He did not care that his brothers did not like him because he knew who he was. He knew that he was fearfully 
and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of God. He didn't close the benediction on God because of the opposition. He didn't close the benediction on God because he was thrown into the pit. He didn't close the benediction. He didn't take his gift and throw it and he didn't take his gift. He didn't throw it. He didn't toss it to the side. He he knew that he was called. He knew. He took that gift despite him being hated by his own flesh and blood. How? How did he cultivate that? How did he maintain that? He maintained that because he knew that he was made for it. He was made for it. He was made made to be a dream interpreter. He was made to be able to have the spirit of the sermon. He was made for it. He was made for it. He was made for it. You, ladies and gentlemen, you need to know that you're made. You're made for times such as this. You are made to pray for the ostracized. You are made to cultivate that gift on the inside of you. You are made to breathe life to humanity. You are made to speak life and not death. You are made to bring healing. You are made to bring revival. You are made to pray for the sick. You are made to pray for the poor. You are made to be the greatest expression of Christ Yeshua in the earth. You are made for this. You are made for this. You are made for this. Somebody needs to tap in. I don't know your situation. I don't know your circumstance. But you must recognize you are made for a time such as this. You are made to win. It doesn't matter what they may say. They may talk about you being single. You are made for this season. They may talk about the career choice that you took. You are made for this. They may talk about your elevation in ministry. But guess what? You are made for this. They may talk about the fact that you begin a new chapter. They may talk about the fact that you're studying the word. They may talk about the fact that you have stepped up to the plate to do something different. You must recognize that you are made for a time such as this. You are made. You are made for a time for this. You are made to conquer. You are made to tread upon scorpions. You are made to go to places of darkness. You are made for a time such as this. You are made to speak life and not death. You are made to be a conqueror. You are made to be a champion. You are made for a time such as this. You are made. You are called. You are called. Get up, son. Get up, daughter. Get up, son. Get up, daughter. God has called you for a time such as this. You are made. Somebody shout out hallelujah. I'm made for this. I'm made to be the curse breaker. But I can't be a curse breaker if I first don't recognize that I was made for this. I can't be a curse breaker if I'm not willing to receive counsel. Counsel from the Lord. Counsel. Counsel. Wise counsel. I am made for this. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm made, I'm made, I am made. There's a sound, a clarion call. There's a sound that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. There's a sound a victory. There's a sound. A breakthrough. There's a sound. Of the king. Listen up. Let me explain.
explain something to you. The enemy has already lost. When you start being attacked, that is indication that your breakthrough is on the way. And if the enemy cannot stop your breakthrough, he will try to delay. God told me to tell you, God is about to reward your faithfulness with unusual advantage and spectacular influence and open pathways. Who is it for? Listen, starting today, I need you to start speaking life into yourself. Mm -hmm. Talk to him, George. Starting today, I need you to start speaking life into yourself. Out with the old and in with the new. In with the new. And if only you knew what God knew, then you will. Who you are. Stop.